Hello, my name is Owen, and today I'll be doing a quick review of George R. R. Martin's A Game of Thrones. What I want to do is give a brief overview of what the book is about, tell you things that I liked, and tell you things that I didn't like. Uh, starting with the overview, everyone should be aware of at least the existence of Game of Thrones. It's one of the biggest pop culture phenomenons of the last 10 years. Uh, I watched the show uh, starting like season 5, then watched as it came out. Uh, when it was coming out, it was my favorite show of all time locked the last two seasons we won't we won't go into it we won't go into it uh but this is the first book of martin's series and it's the book that started it all uh i had never read the series before so i thought that i would give it a shot considering how much i liked uh, most of the show uh so overview medieval fantasy dragons politics huge ensemble cast right uh it's one of the most famous fantasy books of all time even before the show came out had to give it a shot so, jumping in things that I didn't like. Um, honestly, not that much. I noticed that the this book, at least, almost identical to the show, which is a uh, credit to the show creators for how closely they actually stuck to the book. Like, even Harry Potter, uh, like those movies, which I feel like were pretty faithful adaptations, uh, still took liberties and cut characters and, you know, like kind of like movied it up a little bit. But the show, and I'm, and I'm aware that in the later books, uh, there's characters introduced that the show doesn't even touch, and the directions that they take, it completely changes the further they go on. But for the most part, this book was almost like reading what I remember the show being like to a T, which is very strange uh, reading it out of order, because I know it's kind of like, they always recommend you read the books first before you watch the things, but... You just can't not have watched Game of Thrones as it was coming out. Uh, but it was very, um, in, in retrospect, it makes me respect the first season of the show more because it's beat for beat the exact same story. Um, so honestly, there's not much I didn't like because I liked the show so much. So obviously I was going to like this um, a similar amount. So going on to things that I liked. So things I didn't like, very slim. It's, it's, it's just great fantasy, uh, right? Going on to things that I liked... Um, obviously I like the show, um, so I like the plot and the characters uh, of this book, but because books are always better, it goes into so much more depth. Uh, and again, I was surprised that the story wasn't as like, wasn't more complex than the show put it out to be. Like they really didn't simplify the plot at all uh, in the show, but obviously because it's a book, you're reading from POVs, you get inside their heads a little bit more, which is so much more interesting. Uh, this was most um, prominent in Eddard Stark, uh, one of the main POV characters uh, for this book, uh, and the main character uh, of Game of Thrones from the get-go. Um, but because you're reading a book about him, you can see his thoughts and the decisions that he makes, you see him debating with himself inside his head. Uh, which is not something you see in the show. So some decisions that he made, um, I'm not gonna like spoil anything just in case you don't know, uh, but there's a decision towards the end of the book where he has to make uh, between uh, doing the right thing and doing the thing that is probably most beneficial to him. And he makes a certain decision uh, and you can kind of infer like just through his character why he made that decision, but in the book he thinks through the actual consequences of each action, like the specific details. And it makes you think like, oh, so he's not just like blindly choosing one thing because this is his character. He actually is so intelligent and he can think through things like a normal person, which is just like really, I just love that extra layer of depth and stuff like that. Um, and just across the board, it, it does it for all the characters. And also this book cemented Tyrion Lannister as one of the greatest characters. He's so good. I loved him in the show, but in the book, I like him even more. Um, so that's just a side note. Uh, another thing I liked is uh, how what Martin decided that the Stark children's ages was. Uh, in the show, they skewed a little older, especially um, the boys, uh, John and Rob, and uh, Bran's about the same, I guess. Um, but in the book, they are a lot younger, uh, like 14 and like 13. But in the show, they all, they look a little bit more like, for season one, they look like 19, 20-ish. Uh, they look definitely older. But adding that layer of them being literal children when they have to do the things that they do um, is so interesting. And at first, when I first started reading the book, I'm like, okay, like, 
he didn't have to make him this young because I know what they're gonna do because I've seen the show and like, it's just kind of strange that they do that. But he actually explores a lot, like how young these kids are and like the things they have to do. And they're not as heroic and as knightly as even the show makes them out to be because they're literally just kids. And there's a there's this part where Rob is with his mother and he has to make big decisions. And in the show, it was more like, oh, my mother is my advisor, but I am the knight. I will make the decision. Yes, I'm so uh, gallant and powerful. But in the book, he, he is that. He is those things. But he's also like, mom, what do I do, mom? Like, I'm just a kid. And and I really like that aspect explored more. I do think it's a good idea that they didn't do that for the show because child actors, you know, take them or leave them. Uh, but um, for the books, it's a very interesting topic uh, to explore. And I and I actually really enjoyed it, which I didn't think that was something that I would. Um, so overall, I really, really enjoyed the book. Uh, no surprises there. Um, and I'm excited to continue the series. I actually got the... The whole series for like twenty dollars. Um, obviously, the series isn't complete. Uh, we're not we're not going to think about that yet, though, because I'm not I'm not done with it yet. So maybe maybe he'll finish the series before I I could get there. Yeah, I'll keep telling myself that. Uh, other than that, um, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, thank you so much for listening.